top 10 Peter Cushing films that'll make you rethink gothic horror and maybe your life choices. Ah, uh, Peter Cushing, the regal, cold as ice granddaddy of British horror cinema. From clashing with Dracula to dissecting Frankenstein's art projects, this iconic actor turned fright into a fine art. Whether you're an IMDb scroller, a Reddit lurker, or just someone who stumbled across these movies while browsing Ranker, here's the countdown of the top 10 Peter Cushing films, ranked from almost forgot about that one to the essential viewing if you ever want to call yourself a true horror fan. 10. Frankenstein and the Monster from Hell, 1974 Kicking things off at number 10, Frankenstein and the Monster from Hell. It's technically Peter Cushing, but also barely. Cushing returns as Dr. Frankenstein, and he's as disturbingly enthusiastic as ever. The monster is more gorilla than man, which makes you wonder if Hammer was just short on budget or went for avant-garde. Reddit calls it deeply unsettling. In a good way, I suppose. It's a must-watch if you're into Cushing but want to keep your expectations down to earth, or maybe down to hell. 9. The Creeping Flesh, 1973 Oh yes, The Creeping Flesh. Cushing plays Professor Hildern, who discovers a skeleton that grows flesh when wet. You know, a typical day in Victorian academia. This flick has Peter paired with the equally legendary Christopher Lee, which is always a win. YouTube comments range from insanely underrated to so bizarre it's fantastic, and that's about right. Watch if you enjoy absurdly unsettling science experiments or, like me, just want to feel better about your own nightmares. 8. Dr. Terror's House of Horrors, 1965 Coming in at number 8, we've got Dr. Terror's House of Horrors. This is one of those horror anthologies with Cushing as the eerily calm Dr. Shrek. Yes, that's Dr. Terror to you. He predicts the futures of five men on a train and spoiler alert, none of them involve winning the lottery. The tales are like a spooky sampler platter, and Cushing is just chillingly charming. IMDb reviewers call it the perfect introduction to classic horror anthologies, but don't expect an ending that's anything less than campy. 7. The Gorgon, 1964 The The Gorgon is a Hammer film production, meaning it's beautifully gothic, slightly nonsensical, and delightfully dark. Cushing is Dr. Namaroff, a seemingly unbothered physician trying to ignore the whole snake-haired lady turning people to stone Bishu. Let's be real, seeing Cushing in a monster movie without him actually being the monster is a bit refreshing, even if the movie's lore is paper-thin. Reddit calls it's criminally overlooked. Watch it if you're in the mood for hammer horror at its weirdest. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and join the crew by subbing and clicking the bell. 6. Twins of Evil, 1971 Coming in at a solid 6 is Twins of Evil. This is Cushing doing what he does best, being stern, gothic, and probably judging you from beyond the screen. He's Gustav Weil, a witch-hunting Puritan, and it's a tale of dark castles, innocent twins, and lots of blood. Reddit users note the pure hammer vibe, which is code forward expect lots of low-budget magic with a side of questionable choices. A film for when you need a dose of 70s horror cheese and Cushing's excellent bone structure. 5. The Hound of the Baskervilles, 1959 At the halfway point, The Hound of the Baskervilles, because who doesn't want a little Cushing as Sherlock Holmes? This is gothic, thrilling, and incredibly British. Peter Cushing I as Sherlock, okay? With Christopher Lee as Sir Henry, it's also an acting buffet for horror fans. YouTube fans call it the finest Holmes adaptation out there, which sounds about right. Come for the mystery. Stay for Cushing's cheekbones. 4. The Curse of Frankenstein, 1957 And here we are with The Curse of Frankenstein, where Cushing's Dr. Frankenstein is cold, morally bankrupt, and all-around perfect. Reddit has an ongoing love affair with this version of Frankenstein because Cushing's portrayal is an unhinged delight. Sure, the monster looks a bit like a botched arts and crafts project, but who's really looking when Cushing's on screen? If you love your horror on the cerebral and sinister side, this is your go-to. 3. The Mummy, 1959 Nothing screams British horror like The Mummy. Cushing and Christopher Lee team up again, Cushing as the cursed archaeologist and Lee as, you guessed it, the mummy. It's slow, it's moody, and it's everything a Hammer Horror fan lives for. 
IMDb users praise it as classic horror at its peak. Whether you're into Cushing or just love watching ancient curses wreak havoc on the British upper class, this movie is peak goth. 2. Horror of Dracula, 1958. Taking the silver medal is Horror of Dracula. Cushing as Van Helsing, it's iconic, it's glorious, and it's got Christopher Lee as Dracula, the perfect storm of British horror. Redditus rave about Cushing's Van Helsing being the definitive vampire hunter, and Quora users agree that he nails the role. This movie is where Cushing truly shines as a hero who isn't afraid to get his hands dirty and occasionally use a candlestick as a weapon. Pure Gothic Bliss 1. The Brides of Dracula, 1960 At number 1. Reigning Supreme The Brides of Dracula Cushing's Van Helsing is back, battling beautiful vampires and intense gothic scenery. There's no Dracula here, but who needs him when you have vampire brides that look like they walked straight out of a Victorian fever dream? It's just Cushing being all heroic, stoic, and brilliantly intense. Ranker has fans calling it the ultimate hammer vampire flick, and I have to agree. Brides of Dracula is everything a Cushing fan could want. It's dark, creepy, and most importantly, over the top in all the best ways. Who's your daddy?